a little incidental. I've just finished my last video demonstration for Experimental Still Life 2021 and I had a whole piece of par parchment covered in paint and you know, left over and I put lots of it, as much as I could, back into various pots. But then I was left with uh, a large sheet of parchment with enough paint on to do something with. So I found some canvases that I'd just been covering uh, over the last couple of weeks and I literally plonked the parchment on. In fact, no, that's not true. What I did with this one is I took the canvas randomly and I did this with it, stamped it on top of the parchment and then I got this effect. And then I scratched through with this in various places and then I put and I turned it over and I deliberately chose more areas you know actually <laughs> get a grip gaps what I did was I then got the parchment in this case and I and I chose different colors to kind of splat in various places and now I feel I've got a really rich background which I could either sand or just paint it on straight onto now originally for those of you that have done my course this was a um this was the complementary exercise so underneath this is a whole array of shapes in red and green all different shades of red and green so there's a lot underneath this that i've covered up and then i think i did layers of pastel pink and things like that because to make a surface so i've always intended to paint on this and eventually i will but it's just a good way to use your paint and you do get such an unusual effect and this is another one here let's move that to one side um which again has got the say i did the same thing with i've i've obviously scraped a lot more with this but i deliberately squashed a pink area there and a darker area there and it has a really a really amazing array of color it looked to me it's a bit like a almost a watery scene with lots of reflections there's lots of potential to do uh, maybe an abstract landscape on this but the, the there's such a richness and I know at some point I will I will realize what this is going to be but I just wanted to show you because often I think all of us if we're serious about our art we've got lots of pieces lying around which we don't really know what to do with or maybe paintings that just didn't work that we're not in love with at all anymore and we can just create something new to spark us off in a new direction by using up our paint in this way.